Hello and welcome to the channel. The federal government has issued a warning to Peter Hobby, presidential candidate of Labour Party, for his constant inciting and provocative statements in the wake of Bola Ahmed Tinubu emerging as president elect. His running mate, Dati Baba Ahmed, was also not left out as both men were accused of making treasonous statements that may heat up the already charged polity. With the way things they go, so make or be not give these people the opportunity where them they find. Subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thank you. This is treason. Federal government warns Peter Obi against fawning insurrection. The federal government has admonished the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr. Peter Obi, from inciting people to violence over the outcome of the presidential elections. The Minister of Information and Culture, Al Arjilai Mohammed, gave the admonition in Washington, D.C., during his official engagements with some international media organizations. The news agency of Nigeria, NAN, reports that the minister is in Washington to engage with international media organizations and think tanks on the just-concluded 2023 polls. NAN also reports that the minister had so far engaged respectively with the Washington Post, Voice of America, Associated Press, and Foreign Policy magazine. During the respective interactions with the media organizations, the minister said it was wrong for Obi on one breath to seek redress in court over the outcome of the polls and another breath inciting people to violence. Obi and his vice, Dati Ahmed, cannot be threatening Nigerians that if the president-elect, Bola Tinubu of the whole Progressives Congress APC, is sworn in on May 29, it will be the end of democracy in Nigeria. This is treason. You cannot be inviting insurrection. And this is what they are doing. Our B statement is that of a desperate person. He is not the Democrat that he claimed to be. A Democrat should not believe in democracy only when he wins the election, he said. The minister further said in challenging the election results, there was no pathway to victory for either OB or al Aji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. According to the minister, both Obi and Atiku failed to meet the constitutional requirements to be declared as president. The constitution has stringent criteria for anybody who wants to be president of the country. Not only must he has the plurality of vote cast in an election, he must also have scored one quarter of votes cast in at least 25 states. Only the president-elect met the criteria by scoring 8.79 million votes and having one quarter of all the vote cast in 29 states of the Federation, he said. The minister said that Tiku, who came second with 6.9 million votes, was only able to make one quarter of the votes cast in 21 states. He said Albi came third with 5.8 million votes, but won only one quarter of votes cast in 15 states. You cannot win an election in a poll where you came in a distant third position and failed to meet constitutional requirements. Peter Obi, while complaining of fraud as not the soundest victory in Lagos, he said. Elaborating on his mission to the U.S., the minister said he was there to correct the negative narratives being promoted by naysayers and opposition on the election. He said the opposition, having lost in the election, was alleging fraud, calling for his cancellation and constitution of the interim government. We have come here to balance that skewed narratives and to tell the world unambiguously that the just concluded general elections in Nigeria is the fairest, most transparent and authentic in the history of Nigeria. The election is the fairest and credible because of the introduction of the bimodal voters accreditation system Beavers, which I regard as a game changer. Beavers technology had helped to weed out ghost and illegal voters eliminate multiple voting and return sanity to the elections. Relying on the INEC report, the minister said Beavers, during the polls, walked 97%, giving unparalleled credibility to the elections.
subscribe, like, share, comment, and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. Meanwhile, the presidential candidate of the African Action Congress, AAC, Omoyole Soware, has accused the Minister of Information and Culture, Lai Mohamed, of harassing and fighting the Labour Party LP presidential candidate, Peter Obi. Soware said Mohamed was fighting Obi because he is a wimp with zero ability to fight a revolutionary struggle. He spoke while reacting to Mohamed's claim of Obi committing treason. Mohammed had said it was treason for Obi to incite people to violence following the outcome of the presidential elections. However, Sowore said Mohammed's allegation was a hoax and fallacy taken too far. In a series of tweets, Sowore wrote, I am clear about these issues even though I stringently continue to state that Art Peter Obi and his Art NG label are not different from his Art official APC NG and at official PDP NG on course. However, shameless lie Mohammed and at Nigeria president claims that protected speech and lawful protest against fraudulent election amounts to treason is a hoax and fallacy carried too far. They are harassing at Peter Obi and his vice presidential candidate Dati Ahmed with these tactics because they know they are wimps with zero ability to fight a revolutionary struggle and because they've all been partners in crime since 1999. In related news, the Labour Party LP presidential candidate Peter Obi has been accused of destroying himself by going to the presidential election petition tribunal. Reno Mokri, a social political activist, said Obi would get less votes than he did during the presidential election should the tribunal order a rerun. Tweeting, the former aide to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan said the LP flag bearer has set the southeast backwards. According to Womokri, seriously, Peter Obi is wasting his time at the presidential election petition tribunal. As things stand, even if the tribunal orders a rerun, he will get less votes than he did on February 25, 2023. Not only has he destroyed himself, he has set back his region. I read at Peter Obi's statement denying alleged treason. I believe the hashtag Nigerian elections 2023 was rigged. However, I agree that Dati Baba Ahmed's comments were near treasonable. If Obi does not condemn his running mate comment, then he is guilty by association. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Bye.